What's up, everybody? This is Jim and Flame for House of Fire Productions. And today, I'm doing a quick walkthrough of this amazing program called Adobe Audition to show you how easy it is to use this thing to make a podcast. So let's just get right to it. I have a pre-baked program right here. This is from a show that I produce for uh, Lou Stowers and ASE Media called Lunch with Legends. It's a, it's a great podcast. Check it out. You, you can find it on Anchor. Go to anchor.com slash lunch dash with dash legends. I believe that's the address. If I'm wrong, just do a Google search. You'll find it. Lou Stowers Lunch with Legends. Anyhow, here's a, here's a show that I produced for them recently. And I just wanted to kind of show you the ease in which you can you can put together an entire podcast um, you can also use this in radio as well, or for radio programs. But all I did was um, up in the file, upper upper left hand corner that you can't really see right here because it's cropped out. But uh, you would just start a new file, and then you go down and just follow the prompts. You know, name your file, uh, tell the the system where it's going, which folder it's going to, um, and then the other cool thing is you can pick a sort of a pre baked mixing board, and they have one called Podcast. Um, and what it does is 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 it is it gives you a mixing board. And it names all of the channels for you, which is awesome. It's like, you know, back in the day, we used to put tape on the board and write, you know, what, what was in that channel with a, with a Sharpie. But uh, you don't have to do that here because, for one, it's digital. Duh. And two, um, this is pre-baked, you know, from Adobe. Uh, up, up, up here in the upper left-hand corner, up, 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 up. Yeah, I stutter sometimes. Up, 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 up here, you can see uh, this is this channel is called Host, um, and this is where I, I typically put the main media. And it's just simple, as simple as taking your audio file, clicking on it, holding it down with the left button, and dragging it in. See, that's a smaller file. That's probably a little sound bit. <laughs> but here's the entire interview. You can just drag and drop it in there. And as you can see, I've already uh, cut it up and edited it, and we'll get to that in a second. But uh, down here, you have a, another channel called Interview. This is typically where I put all my VO in. I do a little VO introduction uh, for this show, and this is typically where I put that there. You can initiate uh, recording it live, if you like, and then editing after, of course, uh, simply by um, going over here to, next to the, where, the, where the channel is named. You see Mute, Solo, and Record. So you want to fire this thing up, hit record. You want to, down here where the little arrow is pointing right, this is saying basically input, where is the sound coming from? Um, and you just go, you know, choose your microphone. I'm using a Yeti stereo microphone. I typically record in mono, but uh, for whatever reason, I decided to record this one in stereo because this is a stereo mic, you know, so... It is what it is, but typically you just pick mono here. No one's going to listen to your voice in stereo anyway, right? So um, this is how you, uh, you get, this is how you um, initiate uh, a recording. And then down here at the very bottom, you would, of course, hit record and it will start recording. I'll just, just to kind of show you. Now I'm recording and there's audio, but um, anyhow, now I'm stopping it. So... That's that, and I'm going to undo that. So if you noticed over here, now there's a new uh, short recording file. <laughs> it does that automatically. So beware, if you're doing a lot of takes, this folder up here in the upper left can fill up real quick. If you're doing a take and you're like, oh, I didn't like that one, I always go and I delete them as I go uh, for stuff that I don't need. And also keep in mind that it, that it will record to your hard drive as well. It saves the recording to your hard drive. So if you don't want to take up a bunch of hard drive space on takes, you can always open up the folder that it, that you told it to go to in the first place and just simply delete them there. Now, if you go down here, you can see one called sound effects. I don't really use sound effects on podcasts, but this is where you would like drag and drop your sound effects. Like if, say, if that was a sound effect, I would drag and just drop it wherever I needed the sound effect to go. And lastly, uh, down here, we have a music bed. This channel is set up specifically to handle your um, audio files for the, for the music bed. And uh, it's, it comes with a, with a pre-baked uh, pre effect over here. Um, it's usually, there you go, it's a hard limiter. If you double click it, you can open up the hard limiter. You can, uh, you know, you, you can set it up how you want over here. And there's also some pre-baked stuff in here. Um, I usually, I tend to just go to True Peak and then 
and then um, adjust accordingly over here. Uh, sometimes you need a little bit of an input boost, but the most important thing is the maximum amplitude. This will limit the, the overall amplitude of, of the music coming through. So just like that, I mean, it's, it's, it's just as simple as, a, as dragging and dropping your, your sound files over here. And again, you can achieve uh, recorded sound files through this thing just by setting up your, your recording just like that. Or you can drag and drop pre-recorded, like if you record, record interviews with a Zoom, uh, you know, both the Zoom handheld recording thing is what I'm talking about. <laughs> or if you save your recordings from like the Zoom uh, <laughs> video phone calls that everyone is using these days, you can simply just drag and drop over here. And this is where you can edit. Now, uh, briefly on the editing spectrum of things. So this sound file... Just play it here for a second. Thanks, big game Jimmy Flame. Can't tell you how much it means to have you as our production coordinator at Lunch with Legends. And 20. Oh, thanks, Lou. That means a lot to me. But anyhow, um, there was a lot going on before that, and I simply just edited it, it out by um, you, up here in the upper left hand corner. You'll see a, a, a couple of uh, you know tabs you can you can pick from up here. A, a couple of cool features you can pick from up here. Um, this is the arrow. This is just a move tool. You can just move sound files in and out. I'm going to undo that because I don't want to trim it or anything like that. <laughs> and you'll notice this yellow line in, in between, uh, in, you know, inside of your sound file where you can adjust the volume. You can either drag it and adjust the entire thing. Let me get out of that. Or you can single click it, set up some keyframes or key points and do fades like manual fades now i'm gonna delete all of those because i don't want to mess up this wonderful podcast just yet <laughs> uh to the right of the arrow is a razor blade right it means what it means you're gonna cut you can cut your files here so i just cut this one right there and this is great for this is comes in extremely handy for for fast editing if you got to go through I don't know if, um, what sort of methodology you, you use, but what I'll usually do is I'll look at an audio file immediately and I'll find dead spots, just, you know, looking for the zero line and all that good stuff. And I'll go through and then just start cutting. Boom, 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 boom. Just start cutting them out. And then I can go back later and, and, uh, merge the files together. And speaking of merging, there's another cool feature. I'm going to go back here to my move tool. Um, if you need to, if you've got to press files together, well, before you'd have to sort of flesh them out manually. Another cool feature about Adobe Audition is that when you take one file, one, one audio file, and you press it against the other, if you could see this yellow line right here, this is, uh, this is just a built-in crossfade. This is just saying, hey, these two audio files are merging. We want to, whoops, we want to do a crossfade. <laughs> And we don't want any weird pops or anything like that. We just want a seamless crossfade between these two audio files. And that is, uh, you know, again, another cool feature of Adobe Audition. Um, and if you surmise by now, I'm assuming that you have some sort of working knowledge of uh, recording programs because I'm not really going into the details here. I'm just mainly just showing you how seamless this thing is. The, you know, mainly drag and drop. You can use the razor blade to, for quick edits, um, and 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 just sort of the pre-baked effects uh, or EQs or yada yada. It's it, assumed by the program uh, when you're making your podcast. There are some things that are just true across the board all the time, and this program pretty much gets it right. Now, another thing down here I wanted to show you is you can see in the audio, in the music bed, this is the background music. And as you can see, you know, I spliced this one as well. <laughs> oh yeah, the razor, it's actually called a splicing tool. Sorry. <laughs> splicing tool. I like saying that. Uh, <laughs> you can see this squiggly yellow line down here going through. This is This is all volume control. So you can do this same thing in a number of ways. One, you can click on the audio file and you go over here to the right and you can assign it a, a tag. 
this one, uh, you know, default music tag. The reason why you would do this is because, let me clear the audio type, is because if you wanted to use uh, an effect such as auto ducking, well, the program doesn't know just by the sound alone if it's music or if it's just a voiceover or if it's something that even, or a sound that even needs to be ducked. So what this does is it, um, when you assign music to a music file, down here, it opens up uh, this other window, and you can see duration. Don't even pay attention to that. But you'll see another one uh, called ducking. And when you click on that, what it does is it gives you the ability to duck against or have the volume fluctuate against any of these other files. This little bubble right here is a speech file. So uh, let me get out of here real quick. When you go up here, this is dialog. The speech file, as you can see right there, uh, the little cartoon matches up with dialog. So if you assign this one to be dialog, as you can see, there's no ducking function here. This is just telling the system that, hey, this is dialog. And when I use the ducking function, I want the audio file up here, the dialog, to be the dominant audio in, uh, within that ducking function. So let me clear that. Personally, I like to do all this manually. It doesn't really take that much more time. Plus, I got a lot of experience. I kind of know where things need to duck in and out. <laughs> you can just use the the uh, actual um, wave files. You can zoom in on them and see where the ducking needs to occur. So these little lines right here, no, not so much. But you go over here, something maybe a little bit longer. I might, I might do a. Um, a little volume blast there or something like that. It gives you, it kind of gives the, the illusion that you have a sound engineer working diligently with you uh, in pulling that volume back so you can hear the dialogue properly. So let me shrink this. Whoops. I'm making it go bigger. Okay. So let me shrink this back down to where it needs to be so I can uh, kind of see everything. And another cool thing with shrinking and all, so you can do, uh, you can shrink and zoom and, and, zoom out and all that good stuff on the fly with this little function up here so that's great so yeah drag and drop pre-baked channels this thing is wonderful for podcasts you can crank them out pretty fast if you have you know a beginner's knowledge of just how um, recording programs digital recording programs work in general so just wanted to show that off a little bit show you a little bit about uh, you know my favorite my go-to for audio production in the radio and podcast world, Adobe Audition, check it out. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing more, uh, I don't know, hopefully you learned something out of this, but I'm going to do some more tutorials on this. And they'll also be uh, posted at the House of Fire website. As you can see, uh, flamesandname.com. Please come check that out and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Until next time, have fun. Uh, Put your put a link to your podcast down below. I'm gonna check them out. I'm a you know I love checking out people's work and uh, seeing um, how you use your Adobe Audition. Until next time, see you later.